In today's video, we are going to be extracting the text from this image using an Xcolor Draw Automate script. And then we are going to edit this text uh, just slightly. And once we've edited the text and we are happy with it, we are going to be moving this text into the markdown metadata of this document, meaning meaning that the text disappears from the picture. But if I open up the markdown view of this document, then in the metadata, I can see this is a demo and box arrow diamond listed here. And what this will allow me to do is to search for this text. For example, I'm just selecting this part of the text here. And then I'm let's say on a different image like this, I can go to search and I can search for the text that I've just selected and I'm going to be uh, able to find my uh, drawing based on the metadata which uh, is taken from the image. So now let's roll back time and see how I got to this point. So you will need to install two scripts to make all of this work. And you will need to follow the link provided in the video description to the EA scripts library. And here you find all of the scripts that are available for Xcolitro Automate that you can install uh, into Obsidian. And on in this list, if we scroll down, we will find the optical character recognition script and the transfer text elements to Xcolidro markdown metadata script. These are the two scripts that we need. So how do we get this into Xcolidro? First, I will click here on the link to the script. And all I need to do, so this is the script itself. You don't need to read it. You don't need to worry about it. Of course, if you want, uh, you may want to go through it and understand what's going on here. What you need to do is to click here to copy raw contents. And then you need to head over to Obsidian. And in Obsidian, we will need to open up the location for our Xcolid Raw scripts. In my case, this is Xcolid Raw slash scripts and I have all my different scripts available here. So I'm going to make a new note here and I'm going to title this note OCR and I'm simply going to press uh, Control V to paste the text in here. And when I'm done, I can head back to GitHub to copy the other script. So let me do that quickly. So here we will need to move up a level, scroll down, to transfer text elements to Xcolid Raw. And again, here I'm going to click on copy raw contents. So when I'm done with that as well, I go back to Obsidian. And in Obsidian, I'm going to create a new note. I'm going to call it transfer to metadata. You can give it whatever name you prefer. And I'm going to control V paste the text in here and I have my script. So now I'm ready for the first run. There's an important piece of information. So if I go back to the OCR script, I have a description here and there's this important piece of information. Don't forget to paste the token into your script after the first run. So when you first use this OCR service, the script is going to request a personal token for you and you will need to update the code right here and install that token so you can use the same token over and over instead of always having to create one for yourself. If you use this feature frequently, there's also a premium service available by uh, Taskbone and you can head over to taskbone.com and you can read about their uh, premium service offering and you can get a premium token as well, which you can insert in here uh, just the same. So 
let's do the first run. All I need to do is to create a new drawing. And for now, uh, for the first run, you don't even need a, an image. Of course, you can already paste an image. But uh, if I press Ctrl P to bring up the comment palette and I search for OCR, then I already have my Xcolitraw OCR script. And you will see that uh, I get a message to update the script engine with the token. Token is on the clipboard and in the developer console. So I need to head over to my script and all I need to do is here under the token, I press or between the quotation marks, I just simply press Ctrl V to insert my token. And that's all with that. You have your token installed. And if we head back to the sketch, then we can do our first experiment copying uh, in an image from the internet and uh, doing a scan. In today's video, we are going to be extracting the text from this image.